we got a box, which is very heavy. And it isn't very often that we get boxes either. Got a thing, Kaya. Oh, coloring books and games, Mom. And Kaya. Dear cards. So, what kind of weather have we had lately? Not blue skies. That's the first blue skies we've seen in a week. Right. Okay. Do you think they can see both of us? I think so. Okay, so we have been between John's parents' trailer and our RV and Grandma and Grandpa's house for the last week while we waited for the RV to get fixed. So we're actually going to go look at some bigger RVs today, not to purchase, but just to get some ideas so that if down the road we found... Uh, that we had to do something different uh, we would at least have done a little bit of homework for ourselves because I believe it rains a bit in Florida a lot in Florida one of I our think she said daily daily like clockwork a lot of the places times. we're going have a lot of rain so we're coming up on Bish's RV these guys used to be we used to live next to these guys when I was a kid we know them and there's the big sign up there on the highway they're in Idaho Falls and they started out as a Western clothing store. Get it again. And it's the upstairs and downstairs. And the upstairs and downstairs. As far as like trying to verbalize what we want and what we don't want in our living situations. Yeah, so when we're looking at tiny houses, we're thinking, how tiny do we want to go? When they're when we're in the RV, we're thinking. If it was raining, if <laughs> if it was raining a lot, could I stand to be in this for a little while? See, this one I think is better live-in size. Ours is a good traveling in size, mm -hmm. as long as we're out of it most of the time. This one is more of a living in size. Granted, we would be living with buying a new pickup to pull this beast. Well, and right now the way we live, we, we've kind of tried to be minimalist on everything, which means it costs less to do laundry. It costs, you know, we, we rarely have to fill up the water tanks because I'm very careful with water. I, I, we are extremely careful with water. So, so there's only one bed is the problem. There's only one bed? Yeah. Do the couches pull out to anything? There we go. So push button, check, so gray water one, gray water two, black water, fresh wow. water, and it'll give you your... Ours is very ours. simple. It has just two little knobs. Yep. So little I do, knobs. I do see that I love the simplicity of ours. Seriously. You got really touch screen remote. To the I love that this has an open space so kids could play. We have no such open space in ours. No open spaces in ours. Only five steps you could and, take in it. And only five steps. And no. you're down the length of it. Yeah. You've got to get around two people to get there. So here you have some couches that you could sit in that would allow you to do some cuddle time because, like, John and I, we can't get away from each other, and so it's hard to get close to each other. Good because there's so little space that it just feels like you want to get away from the other person rather than sit because uh, in ours all we have is we have our bed and we have our table and that's the only place to really sit and rest and I say speak for yourself get away from me <laughs> I know but I feel claustrophobic in that space and this one is a slide out no. this one is a slide out a slide out, so you know all of the lingo that goes with this lifestyle, don't you? Yep. So they taught me it. Grandpa, That's the best dad I ever knew. Dad's the best dad you ever knew. Yep, for well, well, I like this one. Yeah. Me too. Problem is, we have to have a vehicle to tow it with now. Oh, because it's a monster. So, do you remember when we were first married and your parents wanted to go do this like every two months? So his right. parents love camping, RVing, boating stuff. When we first got married, hey. I had never been camping, RVing, boating with my family type thing. I, I did not see why you'd want to spend that much money or any time at all doing these things they wanted to do. And his parents loved not buying. They, they wouldn't go buy the RVs. They would just go and look at them. And like, why... 
Why the crap do you want to go look at these things that cost you like twelve thousand dollars? Twenty. Seventy thousand dollars. And so, how much is the RV, the trailer that your parents have now? It was like dollars somewhere on there. And and it's it's been nice to be in it because it has more floor plan than ours does. So this one has some good storage. Wow, look at these. How much food storage I could put in these cupboards. There's an upstairs with one bedroom. It has a microwave. It has twin slide outs too, doesn't it? Yeah, it has twin slide outs. What? These are, I think these are chairs that we can sleep on. that comes crunching it, so this one is really not useful. Pull it out, Paige, let's see. I saw that. It's just storage. It's not a bed. What's wrong with these people? See? They know we got the children. Storage. The used ones. Why does it say 2016? Unless that's the winterizing sticker. I think that's the winterizing stickers, the, the little pink stickers. So Paige, you me look in this. Paige, you and I will look in this. Slow down. Do they have to come by and lock these every night? There's a bug. Yep. There's a bug. Bug. There's a bunk bed and a big bathroom tray. Yeah, this is even smaller than ours. Uh, by a long shot. This is a 16 foot. But it still has everything. This well, they be, all, all have everything. This would be crowded for even you and I. Yes, this would be very crowded Just for you and I. Guys, Although this would be turned down into a bed. Yeah, a it would. Well, it is so... The thing I've noticed... Okay. So the thing I've noticed is it's really easy to trash an RV or a trailer house. Yeah, just don't keep up on Because the it's not real wood, everything is plastic, and so you bump against it and it gets scratched. Like a giant hole so that yeah. you can board into the middle of the table. Yeah. So what it kind of says is that they're not, I mean, they're okay, but they can be kind of gross if they're not taken care of. Just... I don't like this one. Smell? I don't, well, the smell doesn't bother me as much, but it's really dark. Edit that part out. We have some yeah, you are. Storage under the bed. You can have a light under here. Oh, it's storage over. Is this too exciting or did we give too you sugar? Too much. No. Which one happened? It's well, just. Granny never gave her sugar. I think this would be way too big for us. I Why? think it would be unfunctional. You would need to buy an F-350. Diesel well, that and it's just too big for us. We don't need this much space. Oh, we can do that. I think that something like this would be way too big because we're inspiring family togetherness, and our whole family can stretch out too much in something like this. Right. Those sure. are my thoughts. Well, I'm just thinking, kitching. <laughs> cool. What is that? Oh. Right. <sighs> Pause that with your tongue. I did. <laughs> nice. I think, I think so, for one thing, it was really good to go look just to see what else is available for what price range. I think it makes us a lot more contented with what we have. Um, yeah, but you like to sleep in the rain with your face eight inches from the ceiling. What? And I get claustrophobic. Because that was cozy and I enjoyed it. He likes to trap you me like in the corner. <laughs> Like, could you please not try to cuddle me when you already have me trapped in the corner? Uh, or at all, for that matter. Just don't cuddle me. Ever. Don't approach me when I'm claustrophobic He's already. That's, I think, what the actual response is. From their front door. So you could go that way to get out the front door, or take the egress and try and pop that. So far, this is the one we like the best. If we were not in our little trailer we're in now, this one, I like the big kitchen open kitchen because when I'm cooking I don't like to have people coming up behind me and trying to touch me because they're going to get burnt and the TV. <laughs> I like I like this it feels more like a house and Pink Pink is like the same carpet as the house. does that pull out into a bed I hope that that would pull out into a bed I, mean, I, I guess you, you could, could close sleep. this to have privacy yeah. the and bathroom is bigger That has to fold out. If it doesn't fold out, where are other people supposed to sleep? Okay, so what model is this? I don't know. This is Don't fall in the mud, okay? Okay. That's why we're holding on tight to this. Okay. 
You're going to have to say all that again because I just turned the camera on. <sighs> so this one is the Arctic Fox from Northwood Manufacturing. The Silver Fox Edition, model 29L. The moral of the story is I like our free little RV that my husband got up running for not very much. Pretty well. But, but yeah, it's know. breaking down. It's not breaking down. Well, it's, it's really small. It's small it's not having running, problems. Running, Stop running. saying that. Find some wood and knock on it. The running thing is well. that <laughs> what Welcome to mi casa. What is that mean? My house. Welcome to my house. One bed. That's not too bad. 47 gallons of water. This is nice. Uh, it's another bed where you're eight inches from the ceiling. Yes, honey, that would be a camper. Anything cab over, it's a bed. Please don't use the toilet. They've had people use this toilet. I'd imagine this would lay down. Yep, that would go into another bed. So this thing has slide outs.